The Master Diviner has gone ahead with the scouts. Please wait here for her. Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. There's no time for idle chat. We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, those who worship the Plague's author. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. Then, after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Curse it! What Sanctus Medicus sorcery did they use on us? The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Mara-struck form around others. To do so means that we have given up on being human lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood, and violated the rainbow's admonishments. What the disciples of Sanctus Medicus did are despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. I swear to the Arbiter that I will avenge my comrades. You want to ask questions? Uh, uh, fine, but I must be present the whole way through. This part needs to be recorded as testimony. <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. These Cloud Knights are so serious, so boring. <laughs> that shining seed? <laughs> I've seen it. So beautiful. If you gaze into it, there's a voice inside that speaks to you. Do you still remember Kakolia? <laughs> the Master said we could inject new life into the Ambrosial Arbor with it. <laughs> I didn't believe it at first. We tried many methods, spending multiple lifetimes of short life species, yet the Arbor showed no signs of resurrection. But look upon it now. <laughs> Only the power of an eon can recreate the miracle. Yes, yes, the mighty Sanctus Medicus, the abundance. That shining seed? Do you? <laughs> the mask we tried, but look up. So you witnessed it too? The Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. <laughs> Magnificent. In the Befall era, so far in the past that even long-life species cannot recall, Sanctus Medicus the Abundance gifted the Ambrosial Arbor to the Sienjo Lofu. With that sacred tree, humanity realized many miracles. The fallow earth, the western soapberry, the altered flesh. But that devilish archer ruined everything. They twisted right and wrong and erased Sanctus Medicus' achievements. But soon, soon we will return to the glory of the Befall Era. <laughs> You've seen the fantastic creatures that fought with us. They are only minor gifts of the Ambrosial Arbor. Shut it, rambling rodent. 
The Cloud Knights will root all of you out soon. What did we do? We cured our kin. <laughs> it must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. You scum! If the order allowed, I would cut you down now. Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Mara struck? Bah! It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus. To eliminate the self, to achieve transcendence, a life of true freedom. I see a desire for power in your eyes. This life is too short for you, isn't it? <laughs> I can... I can help you. Don't listen. His words are poison. We're just having fun, sir. <laughs> Without the blessing of the abundance, you short-life species would never be able to endure the transformation. Master Divider, you're back. I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the disciples is laid bare to me now. <laughs> I was merely being courteous. According to my divination, you've hardly been here long. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? Sharp as always. I knew we'd spent too long around the Master Diviner. Now we're predicting the future. Let me guess, what are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines? Leading the Cloud Knight charge? Well, try this on for size. Nope! I can't stand any more of this fighting, so there! <sighs> Who said you'd be heading to the battlefield? Uh, we're not? Jing Yuan's orders. He said that the value of unexpected guests lies in the unexpected. The Cloud Knight's assault was to demonstrate our power to the enemy head-on. Now it is time for the unexpected. Please, come with me. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Lafu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Xianzhou natives into long-life species. They also developed many incredible technologies from the tree itself. But in the end, the alchemists grew discontented and began to obsess over the manipulation of life. Research into the arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it, the more they longed for it.
Evening bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? What huge elixir crucibles. There's still smoke coming out of them. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. Since the smoke from the crucibles never ceases, this place was named Eve Mist Mansion. An elegant name, but as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mara struck? Indeed. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus infuse the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, no one can know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale of an army? The Cloud Knight's first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention, while we douse the elixir crucibles and stop the smoke. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus renounced their century of secrecy and chose to reveal themselves, meaning they feel confident of victory. But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. You misunderstand the nature of the Marastra condition. It is not a curse unique to humankind. Foxians don't usually succumb to it because their lifespan is not eternal. Yet they are still a long-life species. The Vidyatara rely on molting to discard the old world. All long-life species are equal in the face of Mara. However, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short-life species. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by unexpected guests? I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions of the Stellaron Hunters were more accurate than mine. The future that Kafka seeks is becoming reality. One step at a time. I do not wish to be their puppet either. In any case, we do not walk alone and unhindered on our paths. Our choices define us and influence others. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the Lafu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the Elixir Crucibles without being harmed by them. What say you? <sighs> Fine. I didn't hear a please, but seeing as we do kind of have superpowers around here... Mr. Yang, what do you think? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fend for yourselves. Even though long life species get to live forever, they aren't so different from us short life species when it comes to worries and suffering.
Ting Yoon! Why are you still here? You're too close to the crucible! Thank you for the concern, but I'm fine. The General commanded me to stay with you. I dare not go against military orders. Your life is more important, Miss Ting Yoon. Go back. We can explain to the General. <laughs> There's really no need. I've spent my years traveling the universe. Not to mention, I'm younger and stronger than I look. Even you benefactors have probably lived longer than me. Seems like the smoke is getting thinner. Not thin enough. We need to hurry. More than medicine. <laughs> Time for a buzz. <laughs> this combat needs up to. <laughs> this is double speed. Blade and fight. I'll see you off. <laughs> Naughty child. More enemies. Strike apart. Receive divinity. Repay. You chose the wrong enemy. Good as new. Time for a shot. Eternal sleep is not the dead return! <laughs> you took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Blade and fight! I'll see you off. <laughs> Receive divinity. I can breathe easy again. <laughs> Just a little something. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Naughty child. This combat needs optim- <laughs> This is double speed. Strike the park. Can I have fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Let's wait and see what the divine. Ha! Repay! Time for a buzz. <laughs> Blade and fight! Swords descend! <laughs> the dead return! Double speed. <laughs> Strike the park. <laughs> no. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Blade and fight. <laughs> Victory by the blade. There it is. 
Let's wait. Let's wait. Repay. Time for a fun. <laughs> Swords descend. Troops to the rendezvous. So, you succeeded in dowsing the elixir cauldrons. Unimportant. The inevitable is already upon us. Don Shu. It's you. I have met you before in my capacity as Chief Alchemist, Master Diviner. You don't seem surprised. Indeed. The General and I knew that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before the Commissions. We had to wait for you to show yourselves. And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron's spirits into the Sienjo, resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor, striking down our people with Mara. The Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during your reckoning. Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the Abundance and turned their descendants into long-life species. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to seek ascendance? In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjo Lafu like a living creature. We controlled the stellar seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become celestial and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended onto all nine Sienjo ships. What a glorious time that was. How far the Sienjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. 
suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. How pitiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the Ambrosial Arbor first descended. Nor did we witness its miracles. But now, we now have an opportunity to restore the ancient laws. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking you might have harbored some profound enlightenment. Yours is the same old talk of those who seek power and give up on their humanity. Our Sien Zhou ancestors fought side by side with the Arbiter, laid waste to the Arbor, and established the Ten Lords Commission to lay down the lines between life and death. In doing so, we enshrined our future as human beings. Celestials? There are no Celestials on the Sien Zhou. The divine miracles of the Abundance, the manipulation of life and death, your deeds are nothing but evil. I have nothing to say to you, Master Diviner. You have already made your decision. You have discarded power. A most foolish choice. Master Diviner, allow me to show you what the Celestials were capable of. Combat 
it needs optimize. <laughs> this is double speed. You chose the wrong enemy. Receive divinity. I can breathe easy again. Eternal sleep is dead. Dead return! More enemies. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Good as new. Strike the park! <laughs> I'll see you off. Receive divinity. I'll be more careful. Nothing major. Time for a fun. <laughs> a one time enemy. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. Sleep is not the end. The dead returns! This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Bloom. Good as new. Repay! Divinity. <laughs> Eternal sleep is nothing. Dead returns. Time for sword play. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> I'll see you off. I'll be more careful. <laughs> time for a shot. <laughs> Good as How me. many can you block? Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. This combat needs optim- <laughs> This is double speed. <laughs> oh, naughty child. Fun this time. Time for a fun. <laughs> Your life's <laughs> I'm okay. 